You spend all your time focusing on the urgent things because it makes you feel busy. But the truth is that the urgent things will not help you grow. They will not help you scale and they will not take you to the next level. If you spend all your time focusing on the urgent things, you will never get to where you want to be. There's a difference between urgent and important. Urgent things are the people who are calling you. Urgent things are the email notifications that you have to be able to blast through. Urgent things are your teams coming to you saying, I need your help putting out this fire. These are all urgent things. And they take attention. They have to take attention. Someone has to pay attention to these things. The question is whether you should be the person to do that. Now on the flip side, there's the important things. The important things are, are hiring the right person for the role that takes weeks to do. The important things is setting up communications between your team or customer service or getting the new phone system or figuring out your accounting and your books and your payment systems or taking photos of your products that look a little bit better, writing better copy, fixing your marketing, fixing your sales, being able to put yourself in a position where you have a leadership team so you're not doing all of these things. These are all important things for your business. But if you're busy focusing on the urgent things, when do you have time for the important things? If you're busy focusing on the urgent things, when do you have the mental space to be able to think through these things for the important things? And here's the thing, the important things can always wait. The important things can always be pushed for something that's more urgent. The important things never happen for you because you're busy focusing on the urgent things. And so if you want to grow your business, if you want to pull yourself out of the muck of having to do everything yourself, you need to be able to look at the things that are being thrown at you, the way that you plan your schedule, the way that you plan your time, and really take a look at whether you're doing things because you feel that they're urgent, or whether you're doing things and investing your time which are in fact important to your future, your business, and your growth. So you're gonna of course say, how do I do this? I learned many, many years ago this trick, this this matrix that you can look at. And I didn't develop this, but it's pretty simple. Okay, so if you can read my writing, on one side, we have urgent. As things move this way, they become more urgent. As things move this way, they become more important. And so what this means is that as you hit your tasks, as things come to you, as people email you or, or as customers call you, you're gonna to have to make a decision. Is this important? Is this urgent? And so what this helps you do is it helps you actually cut away the stuff that is not important or cut away the stuff that is not urgent. So in this box down here, what we have are tasks that are not important and not urgent. Now, if they're not important and not urgent, you could be doing it because you've always done it that way. You could be doing it because it's just part of the process and you never questioned it. Or you could be doing it because you thought it was important or you thought it was urgent, but when you scrutinize it, when you look at it, you realize it's not. These things that are not urgent and not important, these process things, these things that you do because you think you're supposed to do them, you have to, you have to ax them. You have to cut them out of your life. You have to be willing to let go of them. And when I've spoken to other business owners who have done this, they think that people care about certain things that they do. I have to send this follow-up email. I have to do this, I have to do that. And then they stop doing it and they realize that no one even notices. You know, no one even notices that the change was made. And so they go, ah. Oh, why was I spending all my time doing that? Where else in my business can I cut things? Look at everything you're doing and start to question, is it important or is it urgent? If it's not urgent, if it's not important, cut it out. Now on the other side of things, way up here are the things that are really, really important and really, really urgent. I would say you drop everything for those things. Like Seriously, if I got an email right now that was urgent and important, you better believe I'm gonna stop recording this video to go take care of it. I, I would want my team to bang on my door in the middle of a meeting. I would want someone to drive to my house and shake me and say, wake up, this is urgent and this is important, you better deal with this now. This is a, a sick family member. This is a client that is on the verge of a campaign crashing. This is uh, your contractor and the roof has blown off of the building that you're working on. Like this is major stuff and the way you react in those urgent and important moments defines your character. It shows the world who you are. 
You do something majorly wrong, how do you react? You screw up with a client, what do you do? The press is going after you like crazy, how do you respond? Those are the urgent and important things. They better take all of your focus. You better commit and not let up from focusing on it until it's taken care of. That's, that's this world. That is where you need to live when it happens to you. But most of your life is not in this world. Most of your life is in fact gonna be probably down here. Down here is where things are urgent, but they're not important. And we spend almost all of our days working on things that are urgent, that are not important. Think about your task list. Think about all the conversations you need to have, all of the work you need to do, all of the accounting you need to do. Think about every email that comes in. Think about every phone call that happens. Think about every conversation you do. As things happen, as the client is emailing you in a panic, as the customer service rep is coming to you in a panic, as the phone calls come in, you need to ask, is this important or is this urgent? Because if you spend all of your time in the urgent, you will never have time for the important. Again, if it's down here, you cut it. If it's up here, it has all of your focus. But the rest of your day, you're focusing on urgent things. And urgent things are things that you should be delegating. Now, you may not have a team yet, if you don't have a team yet, you should be thinking about what are the things that I'm doing that I should not be doing, and then you should be working to hire someone to give them off to. Because they're urgent. The company, the brand, needs to respond to them. They need to take care of them. Your system has to be able to respond to them. But it doesn't mean that you should be doing this. Someone else should be doing this. And those are the urgent things. In our company, I want one hour response times on everything. Now, do we do it all the time? No. Sometimes we get really busy, sometimes we get slammed. But the company I want one hour response times for. That is an urgent thing, that I'm, I'm making something urgent that in fact does not have to be urgent. But it doesn't mean that I have to be the one to do it all the time. We can have systems, we can have tools, we can have processes, we can have people, we can leverage AI. There are different ways where we can handle urgent things, even if they're not important. The company should do this. You should be delegating. You should not be living in the land of urgent because where you should be spending most of your time are in fact on the important things. Now up here are the important things that are not urgent. And these are the things that, that for me as a procrastinator, I am always comfortable never getting around to. I'm always comfortable pushing off. I'm always comfortable scheduling it for Friday morning. Fridays are my CEO day. Fridays, I, I get up at 5. At 5.15, I'm working. At 6 a.m., I'm at Starbucks because Starbucks doesn't even open until 6 a.m. And I, if it opened earlier, I'd be there. And I work at Starbucks until between 10 a.m. and noon. So from, from 5.15 to 10 a.m. to noon, I'm not doing calls. I'm not doing meetings. I am working on work. Now. I spend a lot of my time on those mornings working on urgent work. The contract that needs to go out, the pitch that needs to be created, the presentation I have to give. And so I'll schedule the important things weeks in advance, but I'm always willing to push those important things because urgent things come up. And if I'm always willing to push the important things, when am I ever going to do them? When are you ever going to do these important things? These important things are the foundational elements that help you build your business, that help you find the right team. These are things like, are you doing weekly or monthly coaching sessions with your team? Those are important, but you're, you may be always willing to push them for the urgent things that come up. And your team might even say, why are we doing this? Why are you spending an hour or half an hour talking with me about you know, what we're doing and where we're going in big picture things when the barn is on fire, when the clients are bugging me, when I have to get this stuff delivered. An important thing might be shutting down your business for half a day to do an all teams meeting, to bring everyone together, right? One, it's really, really costly to have everyone in a room not working. It's really, really costly if you're a retailer and you have multiple locations to travel to all the locations or to bring everyone together and to shut down your business. That's really costly. Is it important to do? Maybe. Is it urgent? Not at all. Will you ever do it? Most people won't. Right? Too expensive. Too much time. We gotta hustle. We gotta be open for customers. Right? I wouldn't want a customer to come to my door and see that we're closed. So you never get around to it. You never do it. Your team might be hungry. They might be starving for direction. They might want to know what their place is in the company. We see this a lot with recruitment. Right? People ignore hiring process, recruiting, culture, a lot of people ignore it until they find out that they can't hire the people that they need to hire. 
or that they're losing people. And it, suddenly this important thing for our business that should be foundational has suddenly become urgent. And they'll invest in it and they'll do it when it's urgent, but when it's important, they won't. And so every single person, including you, does this. And what you need to do is you need to stop doing it. I need to stop doing it. We need to stop doing this. Because the important things are in fact the things that will lead to your growth. They will lead to your business's growth. They will lead to you having a stronger and better team. They will lead to a better product release. R&D is important. Developing new prototypes for your product is important. Doing market research is important. Is any of that stuff urgent? No. And this is why things take so long as well. This is how quarter, like a quarter and a second quarter and a third quarter and suddenly it's a year. People go, oh, it's been a year we've been talking about this. This is how it happens. This is how you let a year slip by because you're busy focusing on the urgent things and not the important things. So here's what you do. If it's not urgent and not important, cut it out. Question everything you're doing, cut out the things that aren't urgent and aren't important. If it's urgent but not important, delegate it. If it's urgent and important, focus on it. You naturally will anyway because your house is on fire. You're going to put it out. But give yourself time. Schedule time. Put yourself into the important things that are not urgent. That's the only way you'll grow your business. Let me know what you think of this. Start to question what you do. And like always, you have to think big, you have to be bold, and you have to say yes. If growing and scaling your business by being better at sales and better at marketing, better at customer experience is important to you, be sure to check out this video right over here. And like always, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon, and get each video every day when it drops.